Hello, I've got a small guest with me today, so we've got some help doing um, this little tutorial. Quite a few of you have been asking how to solve a problem, which is in your pivot table, getting these uh, bit of text saying uh, hash div forward slash zero exclamation mark, so divo, and not really knowing what to do and feeling like you can't carry on with coursework. Now, with UN data, the thing about it is there's about 100 on data sets on there a few thousand columns data we've put everything together. So it's very hard to predict what we'd be doing in practice. And some things change. So um, when we looked through all the examples beforehand, we didn't see any of this, but luckily it's a really simple fix. So um, what I'm doing going to do here, show you the data. I just made up some really simple data. So we've got um, it's area, not the country. We have a year and we've got the number of giraffes. So really fictitious um, uh, thing. So what we can do here is go right, um, we select everything, insert, pivot table, then we get a pivot table like this. So what I've got here, I'm gonna change that to put year, right? Year in columns. So in, what we're sort of trying to say here is like in 2000, how many drafts were there in um, these three countries on average? And the reason here is average. By default, it might give you count, which is, well, we've got one record for each. Okay, but lots of you want to go, well, what's the average number? Now, because the data we're talking about here is saying, well, how many drafts were there in Oceana in 2000? That data is already processed for you. You don't need to take an average. You just need to represent it. So. What we do here is um, put year in filter. Hi. Number of drafts into columns. And, um, yep, there we are. Then what we do is go into filter. We click on the I, oh, sorry, drop down here. And we select just 2000. So what we can look at this, say that in 2000, Algeria had less, had 20 to 30, Oceania um, had less than 10, and North Africa had 50 to 60. Then we go into deselect that and choose the next year. So, well, okay, five years later, what happened? So you can get these individual bits and you can draw this out and you can manually create your own charts if you like. Another way to think about it is when you've got um, text like this, say, okay, I'm just not gonna use that column. What else is there in my data set? Um, is, there another, is there another data set which could be equally as good? So um, that's normally there. Now this is a data set we can see. So um, this is looking at proportion of population with primary reliance on clean fossil fuel technology as a percentage. So we look at this and we go, well, there's a value column, which is the proportion. And we'll see it's a mix of numbers. So like 34, zoom in a bit, 34, 90, 44, et cetera. Then we've got these things here saying over 95. So we've got a mixture of text and number. So what we can do is make an assumption. What is the assumption? Well, we can assume that if you're over 95, you're going to be around 97.5. I know that's not necessarily true, but that's going to be okay. So go to uh, data, sort and filter, put a filter on here, drop down the filter, click select all, go somewhere. <laughs> right, we have over 95, less than five, and over 95 there. So the ones which are over 95, I'm just going to put 97.5. And that's going to be good enough for what we care about. Just drag that down all the way. Can take a while to drag down, but there we are. So we've replaced that with a number. And I'm going to select all, deselect all. Go to the very bottom of the page again. And this time we want to have the less than five and the NA. All right. It's less than five, I'm gonna say 2.5. Again, it's not really truthful, but it's good enough for what we care about. Bring, the, bring this down and 
Right. So that's the um, lesson five. So we've got the last part here, which is the NA, which is we don't have data. So a simple fix is just zoom down. We've got all the NAs here. Um, now, you've got to be a bit careful in this. So we've got a mixture here. We've got Channel Islands in the UK. We've got Turkey. So if there's something you think, well, they've definitely got access. So I'm going to say the Channel Islands are going to be at 100. But I know we haven't got 100. It's over 95, so I'm going to put 97.5. Keep this nice and um, even throughout our data. So another way of doing it is copy, select a cell, go to the top, shift, select, paste, and just put it all in there. So these other ones, um, I'm just going to make a judgment to say, well, we don't actually know. It shows nothing here which stands out as incredibly obvious. Um, I mean, lots of these are going to have much higher than zero, but hey. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just go through. Oops. Shift, click, and just delete it. Another way thing you can do is you'd actually delete the rows. So you're completely removing that data from the database. Um, here we go. So shift, select, right click, delete. So we've removed everything without. So that now we've turned a column which had some confusing values, which had mixture of numbers and text into something which is usable. You can now take this. Um, if I refresh my uh, data. Dun, 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 refresh, because pivot tables don't refresh automatically. Um, we can get, take our geo area name, which is there, because our value. It's an average. I'm going to select this, go to home, you know, make life nice and easy, zero decimal places. Um, I can then select my two columns. I can sort. Actually, I'll do it in a bit of a better way. So I'm going to select the top there, go to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Shift and click. I can then sort. I'm going to go largest, smallest. So we can see that in this column we got an average of this. Um, but then we can go further and we can put um, time periods into columns. So we can we've now got change over time. This would be a really great opportunity to make a line chart. If you look at the video which I've already posted online about analyzing your own data, that will show you how to make a line chart using these kind of data. I will link that in the description of this video as well. So if you haven't seen it, I really recommend you have a look. Because, yeah, in the example I go through the line data, that's um, gives you the clearest definition of how to use pivot tables for your coursework. I hope this video has helped you and that, you know, yeah and that you're going to um, have a lot easier time. Now, if you do have a question about things, you've seen these bits come up, you can't find something, you don't understand something, please post the discussion forum first. And remember that if I don't understand your question, I will ask you to reply to it. Please reply to my question, because then we can work together and build this really awesome database together. Um, I'll be very happy to make more videos like this. And we've got a drop-in tutorial very, very soon. So I look forward to seeing you and take care.